Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. So we have a very different sort of video for you guys today. In this video, we're going to be taking a close-up look at the Witty Darts. Now these things are handmade in Pennsylvania, USA. Actually, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. And believe it or not, they are still widely used in tournaments in leagues in certain areas of Pennsylvania. A hugely popular game. Now, for those of you that aren't aware, and I'm probably sure that quite a few of my subscribers have no idea about this, but these are used on an American dartboard. Now, you're probably looking at that going, what the hell? I've never seen one of those before. Well, if you actually go into certain bars or pubs in areas of Pennsylvania, that's the only board you're going to see. Now, if you look down in the pinned comment, I'm going to link some matches down there. They have commentary, and uh, they're pretty exciting to watch, but... That's going to better explain how to play. But to give you a quick rundown of how you play, if you look at the board there, you'll see the red ring. That's worth two runs. If you see the white ring just to the outside of that, that's worth a triple or three runs. In the blue ring, that's a no score. So if you hit that, you've missed, you've scored no points. But all you do is you throw the numbers one through nine. Each number represents an inning as in an actual game of baseball. So the numbers one through nine and the highest score at the end of nine innings wins. So it's as simple as that. And again, check down in the pinned comment. That's going to better explain it there. You'll be able to watch live matches. And I have to admit, they're pretty exciting. But what do you say we take a close-up look at these? I'm actually going to give you some stats and dimensions. And then at the end, for the throwing part, I'm going to play my own game of baseball on a steel tip board. I have no idea how this is going to go. Guys, these are 12.2 millimeter wide darts. So I'm going to need a little bit of luck here. But here we go. Let's take a close-up look. Okay, there we go. The official tournament, Witty Dart, manufactured in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. Now, I have to say right off the bat, these things are massive. Here's a little visual comparison to my match darts that are 5.7 millimeters wide. And you can see they're dwarfed by these witties. But one thing I forgot to, uh, forgot to mention in the intro is when you're playing American darts, everybody has to use some sort of witty dart. You can't use tungsten, you can't use brass, you can't use nickel. You have to use some sort of witty dart. And they do come on, they do come with different names. There's Apex darts and a couple others, but that certainly levels the playing field when everybody has to use the same set of darts or the same type of darts. But let's run down some stats and dimensions really quick. These are a 100% wooden barrel. <laughs> thought that was funny. And the barrel length, it's, this is all actually one piece all the way to the end here, one piece of wood, 110 millimeters long. At the widest point, right here where it says dart, 12.2 millimeters wide. Now think about that for a second. Phil Taylor uses a super wide dart at eight millimeters wide. These are 12.2 millimeters wide, just absolutely ginormous. And as far as the weight, everything included, point, this lead weight right here in the front, the barrel and these genuine turkey feathers, everything all included 13.6 grams. But what do you say we take a close-up look really quick? Well, there we go, a nice close-up look there. And if you see on the front end of the dart, just a standard silver point sticks out of the barrel, 32 millimeters. Then here you have this lead-weighted section that's pressed into the barrel. And as far as the barrel goes, it's just like I showed you before, just a completely one-piece wooden section. And you've got some genuine turkey feather flights there. And they're just glued on to the back end of the barrel. But that's it, guys. So for the throwing part of the video, since these are witty darts, what do you say we play one round of baseball? Or one game of baseball? I don't know what you call it. One game of baseball. The number is one through nine. Let's see how this goes. Here we go. Here we go, one game of baseball, 12.2 millimeter wide darts on a steel tip board. I don't think this is gonna go over too well. I don't even know what a good score would be on a steel tip board. I'm guessing if I can do anywhere over or, um, over 30, I guess. I should be able to at least do three, three marks per round. 36, I think, would be clipping along pretty good. Let's find out. I don't know how this is gonna go. These darts are ginormous. course. Oh, good recovery. Four. Four runs in the first. Ah, 
four in the second. Heading into the third inning with eight runs. Come on, can I throw three straight darts? Oh, that went in. Oh my God. Six more runs, that gives us 14. And look at that, you can do repairs on the go. What a shot that was. 15, 16. That's 19 runs heading into the fifth inning. Oh, drop. These are so hard to control. No. Oh. Twenty. Twenty runs. I was off to a good start, too. Ooh! <laughs> Makes a nice comeback. 27. Seventh inning we go. Yikes. Mwah. Twenty-nine. That's a seven in the seventh inning stretch, right? We'll take a break. All right. Heading into the eighth. Come on. Mm, get in there. That, hey, that's 36 right there. Last inning. What? Hmm. What's that? That's uh, thirty. What was that? Forty-three? Did I add that right? I lost track already. Twenty-nine. Thirty-six. Hey. Forty-three. That was so. That was almost five marks around. I got incredibly lucky. I did have the one bad round there on the fives, where I only hit one. I think it was in the fifth inning. Wow. Forty-three. I'll take that. I certainly got lucky. Now you may be wondering. Why there was no boom? Come on, guys. These are 12.2 millimeter wide darts. I know I hit a couple seven marks there, but to be honest, I'm not sure if a 180 is even possible with these darts. I mean, I would have to probably record for like a week straight. Who knows? But there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review of the witty darts. Hope you learned a little something in this video. And actually, stay tuned in a couple days. We might be uploading another video with these things. With a boom? You're going to have to wait and find out. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Oh, hey, feel free to leave a comment down below as well. We'll see you on the next video. Later. Ah, those things are huge.